Okay, we are live. Make sure everything is coming up okay. That all looks good. And yeah, that looks good. Cool. So welcome back folks. Uh, we are back in Elder Scrolls Online today. And we are potentially finishing off Somerset today. So, of the, well, we're not finishing off Somerset, we're finishing the main story quests in Somerset. Which is only a fraction of the content in the zone. But, we've done Lost in Translation, which unfortunately saw the White Master killed by Nocturnal. And we now have three more quests left in the storyline, of which I think the last one is probably just the wrap up. So really, there's two more quests left. So, make sure I've boosted everywhere. Oh, let's post on Discord. Bear with me just a second. Hmm. While I just do this. these down cool. okay what we got so there's that and we got these okie dokie good afternoon ginger nuts uh, the virtual drink went very well thank you there was no virtual hangover <laughs> Basically drinking with friends, but talking over Zoom rather than in face-to-face. -face. Rather than not drinking something that is not there. Right. you got to talk to Selfasil. How unusual. The Right Master has kept me waiting for an inordinate amount of time. But instead of Ikesis, here comes the saviour of the Clockwork City. That leads me to a single conclusion. The Right Master has <laughs> not returned from the Dreaming Cave. The Right Master is dead. Nocturnal killed him. That is unfortunate. I enjoyed my infrequent talks with Akesis. Ah, well. Now, if you don't mind, I have preparations to make before I take my leave. You're just going to leave, but I thought you had information to share with the Right Master. I am and I did. But the Right Master is no longer in a position to receive that information. Now, once again, I ask. This is related to what happened in Clockwork City, isn't it? You'll have to tell me. A demand? Interesting. Your assumption is correct. Nocturnal's true purpose in invading my realm was to steal my secret for utilizing life energy as a power source. I suspect she plans to use my technique to amplify the Crystal Tower. What happens if the Crystal Tower is amplified? The Crystal Tower exists on multiple planes of reality simultaneously and possesses capabilities we do not fully understand. We must assume that Nocturnal's options are infinite. I suggest you find Valserin and inform her of this development. Nocturnal's no longer working with the other Daedric Princess. I find it hard to believe that Nocturnal Mafala and Vile worked together for as long as they did. Daedric princes aren't known for their willingness to share. With the heart, Nocturnal moves one step closer to gaining control of the tower. Why is the heart so special? Transparent law. 
The crystal at the top of the crystal tower anchors its metaphysical structure to Hi, all Marvin. realities. With your heart, she can restore the crystal, utilize its capabilities, and make herself master of the tower. And how can the crystal tower exist on multiple planes at the same time? The tower straddles every reality. Its true purpose remains lost to time, but I theorize it was created as a watchtower of sorts. A doorway to everywhere. It stands to reason, then, that the tower is the key to omnipresence. How does that help Nocturnal? Imagine a Daedric Prince who can exert influence throughout the multiverse at the exact same moment in time. Nocturnal could become infinite. If she accomplishes that, then her power would multiply accordingly. She would be without limits. That's bad. Okay, Valserin study it is. You need to go to Valserin study right now. <laughs> this problem. I always He's is really a problem. Tall. Knight of Meridia. Stay and talk with me. There's always a problem. Valserin, stop! You're going to kill him! Ugh, fine! Let our friend finish the interrogation! This is ridiculous. I had no wish to see Aikesis harmed. He was my friend. He tried to save my daughter. If my wife wants a battle, though, tell her I'm ready to oblige. Nocturnal betrayed your prince when she killed the right master and took the heart for what herself. What are you talking about? Nocturnal, Mithala, and Clavicus Vile are partners in this. That's why our three <laughs> sects formed the Court of Bedlam. Three Daedric princes working together to make the world a better place. As a Nocturnal supporter, you see nothing wrong with this. I see, Marvin. Ah. I saw Nocturnal banish Mephala and Vile from her realm. I don't think she's still part of your team. No, that can't be right. Why would she betray the Triad like that? Unless... You must let me leave, Arteum. I need to contact my prince. Tell me what the princes were originally planning, or I will turn you back over to Valserin. Look, you have to let me return to Somerset and warn my prince. Let me go. And I'll convince Mathala to help you. You're going to need my prince if you really plan to take on Nocturnal and the Crystal Tower. Consider it a necessary alliance. First tell me the Triad's original plan. Do we really need to go over this again? Mathala and the Triad sought places of power. The Clockwork City, the Crystal Tower. Anything they could use to change the rules of reality and remake the world. They wanted to make things better. How are the princes planning to enter the Crystal Tower? The Crystal Tower has its own protections, though we know those have been weakened with the removal of the Heart of Transparent Law. Still, we tried to acquire the Resolute Diamonds, the Sapiarch's keys to the tower. So without the Sapiarch's keys, Nocturnal can't enter the Crystal Tower? I didn't say that. Nocturnal has the Heart and her power as a Daedric Prince. It won't be easy, but she'll be able to enter the Crystal Tower. You, on the other hand, will need help. Which brings me back to my offer. Make an alliance with my Prince. Mm-hmm. What happens to the Court of Bedlam now? What Court of Bedlam? You dealt with Clavicus Vile's Earl, and I'm your prisoner. The Court is in shambles, just like the Triad if what you say is to be believed. But beware Nocturnal's champion. Her Earl won't fall as easily as Tilcolor or I. Why would Nocturnal betray the Triad and take the heart? I still only have your word that my prince has been betrayed. But I'll play along. Daedric princes aren't used to working together. If Nocturnal acquired the heart of transparent law, I could see how she might then decide to go her own way. So, you think she'll use the heart to take control of the Crystal Tower? I was under the assumption that the Triad needed to work together to take control of the Crystal Tower. That was always my understanding. 
To attempt this on her own, Nocturnal must have found another source of power. Okay. Lathan is a shell of the man I fell in love with. We can't trust anything he says. No. We have to deal with this ourselves. And the key is reaching the Crystal Tower before Nocturnal can accomplish a similar feat. So Fasil says that Nocturnal stole his secret for using life energy as a source of power. Just another horrible bit of news in an otherwise horrible situation. Mm -hmm. All the more reason for us to get to the Crystal Tower. Last I heard, the Sapiots were attempting to rapidly attune two new Tower Sentinels. We need to see if they succeeded. Where are the Sapiarchs attempting the attuning ritual? Likely at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, northeast of Lilandril. The ritual usually requires a full year and a day to complete, but the Sapiarchs reluctantly agreed to try to speed up the process. We should head out immediately. I'll meet you there. Oriandra. Tell Darian to meet us at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, and keep an eye on Lathan while we're gone. Okay. We need to get there, do we? So that would be the place to recall to. Okay. Given that this quest is called a necessary alliance, I suspect we are not going to be able to get in easily and we are going to have to do some kind of a deal with the other Daedric Princes. Oh, wonderful. Man teaching his chickens. What is no idea what that's about. Hail, mighty warrior. Side quest. No, thank you. What's happening at the Crystal Tower, now? Climb the Watchtower and see for yourself. Why did you tell him that? His teeth were very sharp, Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what Raz is bothered about. The Crystal Tower isn't supposed to do that, yes? The tower started glowing right before you arrived. That looks bad. Raz was nearby when he heard that the Sapiarchs were up to something at the Crystal Tower. This one didn't expect the tower to start glowing. I hope this is the work of the Sijix, yes? No, this is something worse. Raz feels it in his paws. Nocturnal has the heart of transparent law. This could be her doing. Daedric princess. Raz hates those things. 
<laughs> this one supposes that if Nocturnal takes control of the Crystal Tower, that would be bad for Somerset, yes. So Fasil says she could use the Crystal Tower to become infinitely powerful. So that would be a yes on the bad for Somerset question. <laughs> Infinite. A number so big it makes Raz's head swim just trying to imagine it. So what should we do about this? You have a plan to save the day, yes? The Sapiarchs are trying to create a new pair of sentinels so we can enter the Crystal Tower. So that is what the Sapiarchs are doing at the Gatehouse. Raz should have known. Magic makes this one's fur stand on end. All right, let's go to the Gatehouse and see how the Sapiarchs are coming along before something else happens to the tower. Let's go. The tower! What's happening? Raz thinks oh. this is bad. Come, my friend, to the Gatehouse! I think this is the very definition of bad. Yes, yes, I think this is the very definition of bad. Not just world ending, but universe ending, multiverse ending, maybe. Oh, hello, folks. Better prepare this time though. That reverse strike is interesting because it affects all of them in the group or another enemy nearby. running out. The Sapiarchs still haven't completed their ritual, and now Nocturnal has launched an attack against them. I sent Darien and Razumdar to defend the Sapiarchs, but the Daedra keep on coming. What do you want me to I'll do? I'll stay here and try to assist with the ritual. You go and help Darien and Razumdar. We need to buy the Sapiarchs enough time to attune themselves to the Diamond Keys. Tell me more about this ritual. While the Sapiarchs here work to attune themselves to the Resolute Diamonds, other Sapiarchs perform their parts of the ritual at the north and south platforms. Nocturnal has sent Daedra to disrupt the ritual platforms. You need to stop them. Finish the ritual. We will keep you safe. That's annoying. Right. All the dots are up. Nice. Oh, you. I missed that one. Let's try that again, shall we?
finish the ritual. We will keep you safe. Right, this time let's watch out for the Wraith of Crows Palace, shall we? This bloody thing is annoying. Stay focused, Sapiar. We'll deal with the Daedra. Not getting enough to recharge for another race though. Right. Right, Darien's got his attention. Gotcha. Go. I'll finish up here. Not the easiest of fights. The energy. Something feels wrong. No. I, I think it's working. Ah! Damn it. No. <sighs> that was unexpected, yes. The Sapiarchs are dead. Now what do we do? I knew this wasn't going to work. Speeding up the Sapiok ritual was a long shot at best. We should have had the Conclave working on a solution all along. The Psijics could have figured out how to tune the Resolute Diamonds. Isn't that still an option? You're right. Even without the Right Master, we can still do this. I can take the Resolute Diamonds and return to Arteum immediately. But, but, well, I'm kind of at a loss as to what we should do next. We could try a Lathan suggestion and seek help from Mephala and Clavicus Vile. No, that was a bad idea the first time Lathan suggested it. I'll take the diamonds to Arteum and get to work immediately. Meanwhile, I need you to go to Eleanor and warn the Proxy Queen. She has to make sure Somerset is prepared, just in case. I'll go to Eleanor and warn the Proxy Queen. Darian, gather the diamond keys. The Psijic Order will do what the Sapiarchs could not. No, I'm done with the Sigic Order. Too many deaths, not enough action. Raz will meet our friend in Alinor. You two do what you must. Interesting. Val and the Sigics, they're too set in their ways. We need a better plan. I'll return to Arteum with her, because Meridia told me to cooperate. But as soon as I think of something more effective, I'll let you know. 
The knight tests my patience, but I'll let his words pass for now. I promise you, if there's a way to utilize the diamonds to open the Crystal Tower, the Sigic Order will find it. Hmm. Have I got the Sigic skill line? I don't think I do yet. No, I must have to do something to get that. Okay. Alanor it is. I'm there, and I need to go there. Yeah. Ah. I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> Yikes, that was a shock. Okay. I didn't actually intend to do that. This one has seen many bizarre things working as an eye of the queen, but this may take the moon sugar cake. A strange mm -hmm. dog walked up and spoke to Raz. A dog spoke to that you? That is what Raz said. A dog. It spoke words as clear as day. It gave me a message to give to you. The dog said you should meet it in the gardens because it had something important to tell you. Okay. I'll find the strange dog. You go warn the proxy yes. queen. Yes, Raz will go warn the proxy queen. That would be for the best. Just be careful, my friend. This one does not trust dogs, especially ones that talk. Talking animals, so unnatural, yes. <laughs> okay, Raz. The plane meld is finally over. Does this mean we can go home? The Office of Divine Prosecution seeks a temporary botanical you assistance. You again? All right, follow me. Okay. It's me, Barbus. Let's talk. Vile told me to find the mortal flea that continues to pester him and deliver a message. Mm. He's terrible with mortal names, but I immediately thought of you. Glad to see that my intuition's as sharp as ever. Oh yeah, I've got a message for you. What does Clavicus Vile want? My master is less than pleased with the way Nocturnal treated him. He wanted to be the first one to betray the Triad. <laughs> Look, he wanted me to make sure to tell you he's not upset about the whole Vivet thing. At least, not anymore. What does Clavicus Fire want to talk Probably about? Probably wants to make some kind of a deal. That's his bread and butter, you know. You can do what you want. But I figure you're even more angry with Nocturnal for the way she evaporated your friend and took the heart of transparent law. Okay. So how do I talk to Clavicus Fire? He told me you could find him in the caves just north of the city. Just be nice to him when you get there. He's still a little upset over how the triad broke up and all that. I'll go to the caves and talk to Clavicus Fire. 
my master has been livid since Nocturnal betrayed him. That's why I've been keeping my distance. Do me a favor and try not to make him any more irritated when you talk to him. I'd hate to see something bad happen to you. Oh, wait. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Tell me more about Clavicus Pile. You never heard of the Daedric Prince of Bargains? The ruler of the Fields of Regret and the Lord of Tricks and Wishes? Well, don't tell him that. He's upset enough as it is. <laughs> he had such high hopes until Nocturnal betrayed their partnership. Remind me who you I'm are nervous. again. Sure, I may look like a talking dog, but I'm actually a talking dog. I'm my master's faithful hound and servant, although I have a tendency to annoy my prince. Uh, not sure why that is. Anyway, this is just one of my favorite forms. Yeah, so we kicked your ass in the Clockwork City, if I remember rightly. Okay, we might... Hmm. We've got to find the cave, there's now nothing else to do, so we're going to port to there. That's going to take us up to wherever that is, not behind it. So, actually, we need to follow the road for a bit. But if we come off on this path, that'll probably be better. Right. business to solve, not yours. Looks like the place. Okay. Follow directions. My master's waiting for you deeper inside. That looks pretty cool, actually. Even in death they serve. So, 
The Hound found you. Good. Let's discuss an arrangement, shall we? Don't let these crumbled husks trouble you. I needed to vent my frustrations, and my loyal followers were close at hand. You wanted to talk to me? Yes. Yes, I did. I assumed Barbus would have made that clear. I admire your persistence almost as much as I hate the fact that you constantly oppose me. Still, Nocturnal couldn't dispatch you, which indicates you may be useful to me after all. What are you talking about? We have a common cause now, you and I. A common enemy. Nocturnal turned her back on our alliance. She betrayed the Triad. Worse, she betrayed me. Consider my next words carefully before you respond. I can grant you access to the Crystal Tower. Why should I trust anything you say? You killed my court of Bedlam, Earl. You dispatched our pet sea slow. I hate you, but I also respect <laughs> you. And I need your help to gain vengeance against Nocturnal. So I ask you this. How could you not trust me? Isn't the enemy of my enemy my friend? All right, so tell me how I can enter the Crystal Tower. Upstairs, you'll find a key. With it, your Sigic friends can get you to my realm, where I can direct you to the Crystal Tower. Getting inside them? For that, you'll need the Resolute Diamonds. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that. How can I reach the Crystal Tower by going through your realm? Haven't you learned anything? The Crystal Tower exists in all realms. In my realm, however, there is no gatehouse to block your way, just the tower's own defenses. And for that, unfortunately, you'll need the diamond keys. But the diamond keys need to be attuned and the tower sentinels are dead. A problem, certainly. But one I'm sure you can overcome. Perhaps another prince will be willing to help you. I leave the details of that to you. Just remember this favor I have provided when you restore the tower and save your beloved Nern. And what do you get in return for this favor? I'm sure something of value will suggest itself when the time is right. I promise that whatever I ask for as compensation, it will not unduly cost you. Anyway, no more than you can afford. On that, you have my word. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to do this, you can do it. See someone had cleaned them out before. Oh dear, what's up now? The Golden Knight has taken matters into his own hands. He set Lathan free and returned with him to Somerset. Why would Darien set Lathan free and go with him to Somerset? Who 
knows what all that time in Meridia's realm did to Darien's mind. He couldn't have gotten off the island without Lathan's help, and Lathan needed his assistance to circumvent the wards placed upon him. I need you to find out what they're up to. Where did they go? I sent Darien in Somerset's northwest region, but Lathan's magic prevents me from identifying a more precise location. Please, I need your help. The Resolute Diamonds are proving more difficult to unravel than I imagined, and there's no one else. I'll look for them. I'll find you as soon as the Diamond Keys are ready to use. Hmm. We're actually going to be better off jumping to that one. Okay, presumably they're somewhere here. Cathedral of where? They could find us at any moment. Something's wrong. Wrong? Why doesn't that surprise me? Where are they? They're down here. Now, don't get mad, but there's a perfectly good explanation why <laughs> Lathan and I busted out of Arteum and came to this charming little hideaway. I'm listening. The intentions of the Sijiks are good, but we're running out of time. From what we saw at the gatehouse, Nocturnal has already taken control of the Crystal Tower. Drastic action is called for, and Lathan's agreed to put us in contact with Mafala. That really such a good idea? Not you, too. I got enough doubt and dirty looks back in Arteum. Look, Mephala was betrayed by Nocturnal. It stands to reason she might want to help us. And we could certainly use the power since I still can't make contact with Meridia. You're right. Making an alliance with the betrayed prince is the best option I knew right I now. could count on you. As for Lathan, you should talk to him. We can make him pay for his crimes later. Right now, we need him to help us or we could lose everything. If you want to return me to Arteum, I won't resist you. 
But first, I need to find out if the rest of Mythala's followers are safe. Let me learn their fate, and then I'll submit myself to your mercy. Darian said you were willing to put us in contact with Mephala. I am, but I'm surprised that you'd go along with that. If we can get inside and reach Mythala's shrine, I can attempt to make contact with my prince. So you believe that Nocturnal portrays your prince now? Not exactly, but it's obvious to me that you believe that's what's happened. I need to see for myself. In any event, there's no harm in approaching Mythala's shrine. I'm just a little concerned that it took me so long to open this door. Why does that concern you? It should have been a simple matter to identify myself and unlock the door. But the spells in place resisted me. It's as if I've lost my status as Mythala's Earl. Or as if someone or something interfered with the place's defenses. How did you get off Artea? I spent years on that damnable island. Do you think the Sijic's magic could long hold someone who knows the intricacies of the place? With the right master's death, the order is in chaos. Only Val even realized I was missing. How did Nocturnal Priest Crystal Tower about the Resolute Diamond? I'm just guessing, mind you. But I imagine someone with the abilities of a Daedric Prince who possesses the heart of transparent law, could walk into the Crystal Tower as easily as you or I could cross the threshold of an inn. Vile offered us a way to reach the Crystal Tower. Can Mephala help us with the Resolute Diamonds? My prince deals in secrets and hidden lore. If anyone can activate the keys to the Crystal Tower, she can. That was our original plan, before you intervened. After I acquired the diamonds from the Sapiarchs, I was supposed to bring them to Mathala. Right. This couldn't possibly go wrong. How did this happen? My people should have been safe within these walls. Nocturnal's been eliminating the sex of the other princes. Are you surprised she'd turn on her former allies? I recruited most of these men and women. I was responsible for them. Scout ahead and find the shrine. I'll stay with Lathan until he's ready to move on. Gloam Spewer. That sounds delightful. Need to go too overboard then. I shall hack you to pieces.
what we got it here then? It pains me that it had to end this way, but my mistress will not be denied. Butcher! How dare you pretend to care about the men and women you slaughtered? Every action I performed was in the service of Nocturnal's grand plan. Lathan, she has my I never break. trusted Nocturnal's That's Earl. A dark elf in the court of Bedlam? It was unprecedented. Her daggers are as sharp as her temper, so we must tread carefully here. What do you suggest? Nocturnal's champion is reckless and quick to anger. We can take advantage of that. Perhaps get her to slip up and reveal what's going on here. There's a scent of magic that makes my blood run cold. What do you mean? Nocturnal's magic is at work here. See how the Yagra have mutated into creatures of shadow? We need to follow Nocturnal's Earl. Harry her. Make her so mad she tells us everything. Hopefully, one of us will live long enough to use the information. All right, let's give it a try. Champion of Nocturnal, what magic is this? I've never seen anything like it. This was always the plan. Nocturnal's plan. So Nocturnal did betray my mistress. Your mistress is weak. Come with me, and I'll show you what true power looks like. Lathan, no! Come on! We can't let them get away! Need you over here. Come and get me.
Cool. Definitely useful having someone to help. It doesn't matter which way we go, so... This magic, it destroys everything. What good is power if there's nothing left to rule? This is what the court wanted all along. An end to the old ways. A new beginning. I won't be party to the death of innocence. I won't... Let him go. Be silent, knight, or I'll let you taste the blade you once carried. I wish to speak to your friend now. Look how the pearls shimmer with dark energy. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> My mistress offers a small mercy. Allow her to finish her work, and she'll make the deaths of the Sijiks fast and painless. But if you interfere, you will all suffer before you die. What are you doing with the Abyssal Pearls? The seas load trinkets. It was an easy matter for my mistress to alter the magic. To use their ability to siphon life energy and funnel it into the Crystal Tower. In the end, your own world will provide the power that spells its doom. That's what this is about. Nocturnal wants to destroy Nern. Nern's destruction isn't the goal. It's just a means to an end. The Crystal Tower grows more powerful with every iota of energy produced by Nern's death. And with that power, Nocturnal will remake all... Re Mephala and Clavicus Vile are fledglings compared to my mistress. Nocturnal existed before this reality was even imagined. And she will ride its destruction into the next. This isn't an end. It's a new beginning. I'll find a way to stop you. Good luck with that. Now stay out of the way or death will be the least of your concerns. Nocturnal must pay for betraying my mistress. But the magic of the Abyssal Pearls appears to do more than just siphon our life energy. It obscures my connection to Mathala. This shrine may be blocked, but I may know another way. Mm-hmm. Don't you need the shrine? While a consecrated shrine offers the best conduit to a Daedric Prince, there are other means. In the back chambers, I have a way to communicate privately with my Prince. I should be able to open a connection there. Your Nocturnal's Earl tried to stop us. She's gone. I no longer sense her presence here. The Abyssal Pearls, however. The court helped seed them throughout Somerset. I can tell the Sijiks where to find them before Nocturnal activates them all. First, though, we must contact Mathala. Let's go. Darian, go the other way and meet us in the back chambers. We want to make sure Nocturnal's Earl didn't leave us any surprises. I'll go. But if this is just a ploy so you can betray us, you'll have to deal with me. Yeah, someone else has been through here just a moment before. Okay. Meet me outside and we'll make contact with my prince.
Okay. Bargaining with Daedric Princes, what can possibly go wrong? Hmm. for your faithful servant. I answer my Earl's summons only to find him with these unworthies. Do you betray me too, Lathan? Never, my prince. We share a common enemy now. Please, talk to them and hear what they have to say. Mm -hmm. So, the mortal who opposed me wants to speak. If what you say doesn't interest me, I will order Lathan to kill you. Nocturnal threatens us all. I've made a deal with Clavicus Vile, now I want to negotiate with you. And what did the cowardly Prince of Bargains offer you? Was it something so intriguing that you would risk my wrath as well? Speak before my patience wears thin. Vile offered passage to the Crystal Tower through his realm, but we need to attune the Diamond Keys. You would challenge Nocturnal in the Crystal Tower? Since gaining the Heart of Transparent Law, the tower serves as an extension of her own realm. It amuses me that you want to thwart her plans. She'll destroy you, of course, but I'm still amused. Can you make the Diamond Keys work so we can enter the tower? How desperate you must be to offer the very relics I once sought. I will think upon your request. Before you enter Vile's realm, have my Earl contact me again. At that time, I will either help you, or I won't. As is my prerogative. We'll contact you once again when we're ready. That's it? A maybe? I'll return to Arteum with Darien and tell them what we learned. Meet us there. Oh. So there's a lawmaster we need to talk to as well to start off the Sigic skill line. And we still need to find enough law books to get the next rank of the Mages Guild so that we can finish off the Mages skill line, as well as doing something elsewhere's main quests. All before Greymoor comes out, hopefully. So we're busy. That's even without any attempts at side quests or zone completion or anything like that. Right, so yes, you're the Lawmaster we also need to talk Friend to. Friend of Valserem. Tranquil greetings, Caraval. You will forgive me if I seem awkward. We rarely entertain guests here on Arteum. I am Kellerus. Right, Master Aikesis told me a great deal about you. I suspect he has plans for you within the Sigic Order. This is one of the bits about not doing all of the side quests. But if we had tried to do all of them, we would still be in the main quest. Um, and that is that certain things are going to be out of place. Because obviously the Right Master is now dead. You're offering me a place in the Sigic Order. Do I even qualify for membership? The Right Master holds you in high regard. That is proof enough of your worthiness. The Sigic Order requires practical wisdom, outside perspective. Unless I miss my guess, you can provide both. You would be a worthy addition to our ranks. Of course, there is the fact that there's probably going to be a new Right Master appointed at the end of the main quest line. Uh, thank you, what do I need to do? Eager to begin? Good. Eagerness is just what we need. Your first lesson begins now. 
The Order has detected a number of irregularities on Tamriel. Small breaches in the fabric of time. I would like you to seal them for me. All right, I'll seal these breaches. How should I proceed? The first cluster of time breaches appeared on the Isle of Somerset. You should start there. Go speak with my apprentice, Josaja, in the Athenaeum. She will provide the tools you need. A map, Sigic seals, and the Augur of the Obscure. Okay. Let's just grab these things. <coughs> yes, uh, can I... can I help you? Your master sent me. He told me to collect the maps and Sigic Seals and the Augur of the Obscure. Right. You're the Order's new initiate. I didn't expect you so soon. Things here on Arteum are normally, you know, snailish. I transcribed our seer's visions onto the map there and collected these Sigic seals. The Augur, however... Do you have it? I don't. Please don't tell the lore master. It tricked me into dismissing the binding charms that keep it here, in the Athenaeum. Then it popped like a bubble and vanished. It escaped before, but never on my watch. Do you have any idea where it went? Mercifully, yes. I just scried its location. It looks like it reappeared somewhere on the shores of Waston Coraldale. It didn't take long for some sea elves to scoop it up and squirrel it away. You'll have to steal it back. I am <coughs> sorry, truly. All right, I'll go there and recover. I'm indebted. You'll definitely need the auger on your quest. Without it, you'll never find those time breaches. So, the Sigic... Aha! So, we've taken that. And I've got to find the Augur of the Obscure. Now we will switch back to... That one. Right, I'm just going to have to take a very quick bio break, so I'm just going to drop to a BRB screen and I will be right back. Please take the opportunity to stretch your legs and grab a drink yourselves. Okay, so um, let's get back to the main quest and We failed the conclave despite its best efforts wasn't able to attune the resolute diamonds We can't use the diamond keys to enter the crystal tower but what about you? 
Were you able to track down Darien and the traitor Lathan? I found them. Lathan helped me determine Nocturnal's true plan. She wants to remake reality. Using the Crystal Tower and Sotha Seal's technique for utilizing life energy? Then we really are doomed. Without a way into the Crystal Tower, we can't even attempt to challenge Nocturnal, let alone try to stop her. Clavicus Vile offered to let us use his realm to reach the Crystal Tower. Is that what the Sigic Order is reduced to? Forced to accept help from the same Daedric Princes that got us into this trouble in the first place? Still, getting to the Tower won't matter if we can't use the Diamond Keys to get inside. Mafala might be able to help us attune the Resolute Diamonds. I opposed this line of reasoning when Lathan first suggested it, as bargains with the Princes don't often end well. But what choice do we have? Still, thanks for finding a way forward. While it's a long shot, at least it represents a chance. Indeed. I'll start making preparations for the Dreaming Cave. In the meantime, Sotha Seal asked me to send you to his study the moment you arrived. I'm not sure what he wants, but you should tell him about your interactions with the betrayed princess. You know why Sothaseel wants to see me? Something to do with the Crystal Tower, no doubt. Sothaseel has never been forthcoming, though for some reason it appears that he's taken a liking to you. But tell me, what of Darian and Lathan? Darian's on his way back and he's bringing Lathan with him. Both decided to return? I'm surprised. Meridia's knight has a stake in this, but why would Lathan volunteer to return? It makes no sense. Well... Go and talk to Sotha Seal. Perhaps he can shed light on what we can expect in the Crystal Tower. I'll do Sotha that. Sotha Seal waits for you in his study. Tell him about the alliance with the Daedric Princes, and ask him if he knows what we can expect to face inside the Crystal Tower. I'll wait for Darien and Lathan to return. If Farl and Mephala open the way, what's our plan for assaulting the tower? We'll want to send a small force, but leave the majority of the Conclave behind, in case the efforts in the Crystal Tower fail. Leave the details of that to me. I'm not sure how we're going to stop Nocturnal, though. Maybe Sotha Seal has some ideas. Uh-huh. The Tribunal has been warned. They will make preparations in case the efforts here fail. I doubt that even they can weather the resulting storm if the worst comes to pass. As I calculated, your actions will determine the outcome of these events. Is that why you sent for me? In part. Determining the possible consequences of disparate actions becomes easier when studying the primary catalyst. You have a tendency to fill that role in almost all situations. What happened after the Sapiarchs failed to attune the diamonds? I made a deal with Vile to reach the Crystal Tower and Mephala is considering attuning the diamonds. A bold move. Still, I see the logic. Who better to send against their betrayer than the mortal who bested their plans at every turn? If Mephala agrees, you'll be able to assault the tower. I just wish I knew what Nocturnal hopes to accomplish. Nocturnal plans to use the Crystal Tower and cease loads of abyssal pearls to remake reality. I'm not sure that's within the capability of the Crystal Tower, but if she uses my technique for siphoning life energy to supercharge the tower... Hmm. An interesting application of the magic of the abyssal pearls. It could work, I suppose. What do you mean? If Nocturnal uses the life force of Nern to increase the power of the Crystal Tower, she can then use the same technique to steal the energy of the Daedric Princes as she invades their realms. Infinite connections, infinite power, ingenious. So what do we do to stop this? Gather your companions and meet me in the Dreaming Cave. We must contact Vile and Mafala so you can enter the Crystal Tower, recover the heart of transparent law, and repair the Tower Crystal. That will require a burst of divine energy, though. We need divine energy to repair the Transparent Law Crystal? Transparent Law, the crystal at the top of the tower, is as much metaphysical as it is tangible. 
Only divine energy can reconnect the heart and make the crystal whole. Of course, Nocturnal is aware of this as well. Why does that matter? If Nocturnal performs the restoration and once again merges the heart with transparent law, her connection to the tower will become unbreakable. She truly will ascend to an infinite state of being. So what do you suggest I do? You must enter the crystal tower and recover the heart. Then find a relic filled with divine energy and repair transparent law. Only then will the tower's innate defenses re-engage and repel Nocturnal's influence. In theory, anyway. Mm hmm. All sounds simple. By the way, if I just switch to... Oh, companions must be up here. No, the companions are still in the town. Now I am confused. Aha! Sijiks must be wine drinkers, because this ale they make tastes awful. I brought Lathan back, and what does Valsarin do? Sends me off without a word or a thank you. So when do we head out to assault the Crystal Tower? No one tells me anything around here. We're heading to the Dreaming Cave. Hopefully Vala and Mephala will honor their end of the bargain. I knew I could count on you. You're always straight with me. I appreciate that. Still, the last time I went off to fight a Daedric Prince, there was a celebration. Party! <laughs> this time it's just us. You're upset because no one is celebrating? What? No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I just mean back then there were more familiar faces. Friends who I knew had my back. Charging into battle with allies I trusted. There was a comfort in that. Here I'm practically a stranger. You can count on and me. And trust me, I am grateful for that. You're kind of like me in a lot of ways, aren't you? An outsider caught up in things we don't fully understand? Whatever happens, when this is over, let me buy you a drink. Then we can have a proper celebration. Sounds good. Right, now we can go outside. Talk to Razandar and talk to those two. Right. Oh dear, I used a potion. How you doing, Raz? And why are you in Arteum? This is Arteum. Raz is impressed. And truly frightened by the very strange sky. Ah, here comes your friend now. Just remember, you were never here. The Conclave isn't fond of visitors. For a place that Raz never had the urge to travel to Oblivion, or visit a magically displaced island. But now Raz feels like the cat who caught the farmer's prized turkey. It is good to see you safe, my friend. Now, tell Raz you have a way to save Somerset. We have a plan, but it involves a deal I made with Clavicus Vile and Mephala. Raz knew that strange talking dog would lead you into trouble. Do you really think we can trust those Daedric princes? No, too late for that. Tell Raz the rest of your plan, yes? We're going to assault the Crystal Tower and stop Nocturne. Foolish, but brave. Also very foolish. <laughs> Raz has walked into certain death many times and emerged with his fur intact. Mostly. But Raz knows why you do this thing. 
Raz will not try to talk you out of this. Oh. He will instead give you happy news. Happy news? Raz warned Queen Iren. She has promised to contact the leaders of the other alliances and assemble a mighty force to deal with this threat. Which brings us to the not-so-happy news. And what's the not-so-happy news? The mighty force won't reach Somerset for quite some time. Oh, Raz could tell you about prevailing winds, unusual storms, and other factors beyond our control, but it amounts to the same thing. We're on our own, my friend. Are you going to come with me to the Crystal Tower? Not this time. Raz must go back and lead the Divine Prosecution in defense of Somerset. If the Crystal Tower keeps exploding, we will evacuate the island and save as many people as we can. May the luck of Joan and Jod be with you, my friend. And with you. Oh. Right. Elderway's hero, Val. I envied the way she looked up to you. I'm sorry, Nathan. I should have been there with you, with her, at the end. You were trying to save her. I know that. It was just... Damn it. We need to win this, Val. Things will never be the same between me and Nathan again. But I think we understand each other a little better now. Oh. Funny how the approaching end of the world has a way of putting everything into perspective. Are you ready to do this? I've been a member of the Sigic Order for more years than I can remember. But this is the first time since my daughter's illness that I've been truly frightened about what's to come. This is your first time facing the end of the world? The world ends all the time. It's just that I'm more accustomed to that being a personal event and not a shared experience. The world ended when the Reich Master died, for example, but only from his perspective. If Nocturnal remakes reality... Let's go to the Dreaming Cave and make sure that doesn't you happen. You have a way of instilling confidence, my friend. You're similar to the Reich Master in that regard. If we can't have him at our side for this, I'm glad to at least have you. I just hope we can see our way through this. I'll meet you at the cave. This shrine, Val and I built it for our daughter after she died. High elves don't bury their dead, but we needed something to remember her by. She loved climbing this tree before the illness took her. Okay. I forgot I how just... beautiful it was. Someone just tried to spam the channel. Right. Both folks just need to deal with this.
Right, apologies for that. We just had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine accounts get blocked by Nightbot for trying to post links all at the same time. So I've banned all of those accounts. Not sure exactly what was going on. Probably just bots. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so can I trust you to help us in this? With the Sigic Order and my mistress Mythala aligned toward a common goal, I'm feeling practically giddy with anticipation. But never fear. I'll re-establish contact with my prince when called upon to do so. I gave you my word. What did you hope to accomplish with the Court of Bedlam? The Court offered me a purpose after my life lost its meaning. Our princes promised to remake the world, turn it into a better place, a paradise, and they were going to elevate the Altma back to their status as gods. Suffering would come to an end. Isn't that what Nocturnal still wants to Not do? Not in the least. Remaking the world to eliminate death and disease is one thing. Destroying everything to turn yourself into a being of infinite power. Now that's something else entirely. Mathala will see that and provide the help you need. I do hope so. It's going to make things so awkward if doesn't. Talk to me when you're ready to proceed. This is the moment of truth. Once we begin, nothing can stop the rush to the grand conclusion. Make sure you have everything you need before I activate the Dreaming Cave. I'm ready to begin the assault. I'll lead you through the fields of regret to reach the Crystal Tower. Hey, that dog just talked! I can establish contact with Mythala. She's ready to appear if you're willing to lower the defenses. Oriandra, Valserin, assist me. Let us open a path and not keep the Prince of Secrets waiting. So the seal, the false guard. I should have expected to see you. Lady Mafala, will you honor the agreement you made with this mortal? I am always true to my word. Now, send forth a mortal who consistently avoids the tangles of my webs. We have much to discuss. You are strangely consequential for a mortal. In my calculations, I somehow overlooked your significance. And yet, that is worked to my advantage. For now, we have a chance to thwart Nocturna. And that will be something to savor. So you will attune us the Resolute Diamonds? I can attune the Diamond Keys, but that won't be enough to keep you safe. Using the secrets she stole from So the Seal, Nocturnal has infused the Crystal Tower with boundless energy. It makes the Tower's connection to reality increasingly unstable. What else do we need? I must turn the Resolute Diamonds into more than just keys. They must become an anchor, something to lock you to this reality. Without such a weight, you will be lost as the tower rapidly shifts from one plane to the next. And in exchange, 
Tell me what she wants. Two trivial concessions, nothing more. First, just as Vile senses Hound, I want you to take my Earl Lathan into the Crystal Tower. And second, I wish a private meeting with So the Seer after reality has been saved. Do we have a deal? I can only speak for myself. Tune the diamonds as you have said and Lathan can come with me. Two resolute diamonds, imbued with the power of Mephala. Now they merge into a single gem. One resolute anchor to serve as both key and safeguard. Do not lose this. Only its presence will keep you and your companions anchored to this reality. Thank you, Prince Mephala. Remember, if any of you stray too far from the protection of the Resolute Anchor, you'll be lost in the nothingness between realities. And know that I will be watching. Can she do that? I hate being spied on. Now it's my turn. Let me use the gift my master gave you, and I'll get you to the Crystal Tower. Get the heart and restore the crystal known as Transparent Law. But remember, you'll need a relic of divine energy to accomplish that. Lathan, promise me you'll keep them safe. I promise, Val. Oriandra, if I die saving the world, know that our brief time together has made me a better man. What are you talking about? Shh. It's all right to cry. I'll do my best to return to you. I promise. What just happened? What's that crazy knight talking about? <laughs> I do like Darian. Okay, so the box, and they must have been bots, we're advertising a website for buying followers. Mm -hmm. Load of rubbish that is. I bet Nocturnal knows we're coming. So much for the element of surprise. Where's Vile's Hound? Has he abandoned us already? Right, let's get going. Yep. I think we'll go around. Father and bones. Nocturnal sends creatures into our realm. Not while Barbus is on guard. Scoffin! Come forth! Where are you going, creature? I promise to show you the way. There, follow that path. That's the way to the tower. Now, I have a realm to defend. I don't think I like Barnas very much. Yeah, Barbus is a bit of an acquired taste.
Okay, got those. Yep, they're following. And his hound have already. You again. Depending on the actions of mortals. Oh well, let's talk. Nocturnal dares much attacking my master's realm. But here you are, safe and sound. The Crystal Tower. At least it's the version that exists in the fields of regret. Now, I really need to get back to barking and biting Nocturnal's minions. You can enter the tower and reach Nocturnal from here? Well, that depends on how good Mafala's magic is. If you're attuned to the Resolute Anchor like she promised, then the doors to the Crystal Tower will open at your approach. If not, you'll more than likely die on the doorstep. Wonderful. Aren't you supposed to come with us? That was the plan, yes. But plans change when Nocturnal attacked my master's realm. Now Clavicus Vile wants me to repel those invaders and start preparing contingencies in case you fail. Understand, I have no contingencies, so try not to fail. <laughs> what can we expect inside the Crystal Tower? I've never been inside a tower that straddles every reality, but I expect you're going to have to go up, up, up. If you do reach the Night Mistress, fight her once for me. Oh, we're going inside now. Remember Mafala's warning. Don't stray too far from the Resolute Anchor. This place looks surprisingly intact. The interior and the exterior of such places rarely coincide perfectly. I pity the Sapiarchs that were present when Nocturnal unleashed this magic. Up. As annoying as that was, it does help me to power up. do need a power up. So, let's take all of these out.
Okay, almost powered up. Got our ultimate powered up. through here. A dead end? Did we make a wrong turn? Wait, the tower. It's moving. Fascinating. It appears to be reconfiguring itself. Then let's get moving before the tower remakes this platform out of existence. I expect we'll see more evidence of this malleable nature the higher we climb. Oh god. What does that mean? Part of the ceiling has fallen in. Yes, but what happened to the Shadow Sapiarchs? They were thick as crows on the lower levels. Mm hmm. Walking volcano. I don't know how you entered the tower, but you must get out of here. She's still alive. We have to help her. No, stay back. The relic that protects me, it's failing. You can't help me. She's right. Look how she's starting to fade. That's not Please, good. Please, before I am lost, tell me. What happened? I deserve to know why the tower has done this. Nocturnal has taken control of the Crystal Tower. Now, how do we ascend the tower from here? Nocturnal? So I am to die as a pawn in some game played by a Daedric Prince? I'm sorry, but you've reached a dead end. 
The explosions. The exit is blocked by debris. There's no way to move it. You should turn back and flee. Please, we have to keep going. Going up. The old ballista. If you could get it working again, it might be strong enough to punch through the debris. Oh, gods, the relic. I'm... I'm not ready to die. I'm sorry. I don't want to die. Let me help you. Clear your mind. It's so <coughs> hard to concentrate. Think of your loved ones. Picture their faces and my magic will help you. I see them. The pain is fading. I can see. She... she's gone. Her last moments were peaceful. I saw to that. The magic that held back the shadows is gone. They'll be upon us before we know it. Ballista. There's the ballista, I think. Find the broken ballista. Okay. Let's just clear these ones out. be up there. Okay, that makes sense. we go. Here we go. Right. The dying sapiarch was right. That is a ballista. It's not broken, it's just missing a few parts. 
look around while I get the rest of it back in working condition. Okay. Let me guess those are back down the stairs. In the side chambers to be more precise. Go for here. Wrong side. Keep accidentally using potions. Frustrating. That time stop, although momentary, is kind of useful. We got the bits. Let's go. That should do it. Just need a crank, a rope, and some ballista bolts. Here's what I was able to find. That should work. Let's blast away out of here. Is there a point I'm supposed to aim for? Cool. Now that's how to clear a path. I need one of those.
Alright, wait a sec. We need to charge that. And we should charge that. will hopefully hold up. Cool. Coincidentally, your favourite weapon is Mountain Blade. Your Mountain Blade is a ballista. Nice! Mountain Blade, I assume. I haven't, I haven't taken a look at that at all. But sounds like fun if you get to play with a ballista. Curious. From the opening in the ceiling, it appears that we're no longer in Vile's realm. So that's what they meant when they said the tower was in every realm at the same time. Find a way through the library. one is a meme but that's why I like it. Cool. Huh. Yes, that must control the gate across the chamber. It appears to require a key, however. Down there, that looks like a likely candidate. Where did she come from? Nocturnals started to repair transparent law. Soon none of this will matter. No, you mustn't do this. How absurd. Besides, we've got Night. company.
prolonging your pain, Lathan. You know nothing about pain. A pity. I thought we were the same. No matter. Your quest ends here. Enough! Just hand over the damn key. She's just trying to slow us down. Meet up at the gate pedestal. Got that. Okay, so we do want to go through here, as it is the shorter route. I wonder if he could have teleported us as well. Try the key pedestal. She did something to the controls. The gate won't open. We must have been nearing the pinnacle of the tower. That's why Nocturnal sent her champion to slow us down. Nocturnal's Earl damaged this mechanism beyond repair. Even if we had acquired the key, I'm not sure it would have opened the gate. You know how we can get through. Sapient magic is powerful, but not as powerful as the magic of the Sigic Order. Since we don't have the key, I can try to overcome the damaged mechanism and then follow after you. How are you going to do that? I can operate the mechanism manually from here. Then, once you and Darian are through the gate, I could teleport across and make it to the other side before it snaps back shut. All right, open the gate. The gate! It's opening! Go on! I can't hold this for very long! Gate! Nathan, watch out! I have to stop you here. All of you. I wondered if you'd actually show yourself instead of just projecting menacing images. A closed gate won't save them, Lathan. No. But this will keep you what? busy for a time. No! Where'd they go? Is Lathan... gone? That should keep her busy. For a short time, at least. Um, why are you glowing? Mm. I was overconfident, I'm afraid. 
Valserin always said I was too sure of my own abilities. Yeah. I just assumed I'd be able to get back to the protection of the Resolute Anchor before I was unmade. Pity. I would have preferred a more heroic ending. This was your plan all along? I had to do something to get rid of Nocturnal's champion. At least for a little while. Beyond that, I really did hope that a moment outside the Anchor's protection wouldn't be fatal. Just something else you can tell Valserin I was wrong about. So that's it, there's nothing we can do. You can stop Nocturnal. I'd really rather not see you and the Knight wind up with this fate. And if all goes well, you can tell Valserin that... that I'm sorry. Now hurry! Nocturnal's Earl won't be gone long. Thanks for giving us a fighting chance. I should be thanking you. You had no reason to trust me, yet you did. And you gave me a chance to see my wife. To reconcile with her, in a way. Now go and beat Nocturnal. I have faith in you. What should I tell Valsari? Tell her I'm going to go be with our daughter. Tell Val that we will... We will wait... For her. Thank you. We oh, should, we should keep moving. I thought we'll something like that might happen. Maybe he's trying to hold open the gate. Assume we keep going up, up, up as Baba said. realm. We've got to be nearing the top of this damn thing. Good stuff. It's only game practicing studying spellcasters. Still a skill I am. Um, need some more practice, huh? Sure, what that glow was going to do. It wasn't trying to heal her. You thought Lathan could stop me? You don't need the lazy 
Ignore the creepy voice. We have to keep going. Big fight coming up. Guess this is where we fight the Earl. That's far enough. My mistress yeah. can't be interrupted. Her work is too important. Give me the damn Dawnbreaker back. Come and get it. That was nasty. Let's just rebuild my stamina. was never intended for you. Uh, Meridia's magic is gone. The blade isn't yours anymore either. We'll see about that. Join Meridia in my eternal darkness. We are not dying like this! That worked? I mean, I mean, I mean, of course it worked. I just need a moment. <sighs> Nocturnal's Earl was wrong. Meridia's power, it's not gone. Her magic remains strong and vibrant. The vessel, the last light of Meridia. It's me. The vessel, the last light, what do you mean? I finally understand everything Meridia told me. Her power. It's inside me. And with it, I can remove the corruption from Dawnbreaker. I can fill the relic with divine energy again. So for Seal said we needed the relic with divine energy to repair the transparent law crystal. Then this is even better. You can use the restored Dawnbreaker to save the world. I just won't be around to see it happen. I finally understand. I'm the vessel of Meridia, her champion. Aww. But you're the key to stopping Nocturnal and saving reality. What are you saying, Darian? I'm saying you've got this. Whenever a threat appears, you bring the champions together. You find a way to win. And I'll be at your side for this one final battle. Just not in the way I originally expected. What are you doing? I'm returning the last of Meridia's power to the Blade, so you can stop Nocturnal. I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Thank you for everything. Oh. I'd like a word, Nocturnal. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's something else. I like the fact they make you walk around as well. Eek! Hiya Nocturnal. You are too late. Once the crystal is made whole, I shall become in. Come on, man. Thank you for the souls.
this is a truly epic fight. On a recharge. Not yours. Hey, immortal fate. A crystal tower. Its defenses no longer keep me out. Are you here, my friend? You. You did it. I knew it. Transparent law. It's a hole again. Mm. I didn't think that was possible. And you stopped Nocturnal. You're back upon Somerset, my friend. The tower itself. It reformed. But where's Darian? And Lathan? Ooh. Gina G Gaming, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome on in, folks. Uh, let me just... Get this right. Thank you all very much. Cheeky raid. Welcome on in. Uh, this is going to be awkward. Parent law. It's a Darian again. sacrificed himself I to restore Dawnbreaker. Of course. When you restored the Tower Yay. Crystal, it most likely expelled Nocturnal back to her own realm. Welcome on in, I'm folks. a little concerned that I was We're just able finishing to walk the Somerset main quests. But we can figure that out later. Now tell me what happened to Latham. This is the bit where I have to give her the bad news that everyone else died on the way. Nathan gave his life so we could reach the top of the tower. Nathan. I'll, I'll mourn for Nathan later. I'm just glad he helped you. He would have made <laughs> our daughter proud. Oh. For now, you have to tell Sotha Seal what happened. Then we can inform Somerset that the island, the world, is safe again. So I've just saved reality from being unmade, so... It was kind of a good day's work. Dawnbreaker bro Pokemon facts for the win. <laughs> facts or faces, Immortal Fate? Uh, let's go. So let's just take a look at the view. Oh, wow. Did you have a good stream, Energy? And what were you playing? Good, thank you. Finish that. Oh, I've never wanted to play the Life is Strange games particularly. I think they're very good games. I've loved watching them, but the story is so powerful. I don't think, yeah, it's, it's a bit too strong for me, but I hope you had fun. Here we are, back in Arteum. As I predicted, your efforts were successful. A slight chance is all probability requires. There is no such thing as impossible odds. You are proof of that. Transparent law was made whole by the power of the Dawnbreaker. Was that Meridia's plan all along? Perhaps, perhaps not. Your perseverance paid off, however. You never gave up even when the darkness was unbearable. And because of that, the Crystal Tower is safe again. We lost friends along the way, though. Life and death. It's all part of the ongoing circle. As long as you remember them, they will never be forgotten. Or Nocturnal just try again? It took Nocturnal hundreds of years to put all the pieces of her plan into place. And you wiped it all out with a single thrust of the Dawnbreaker. There will be other plans, I'm sure. But this particular threat is over. So what happens next? Next? 
Every action we take can tip the balance of the flow of time. Bask in the moment and realize that you have done well, my mortal friend. You have saved the Crystal Tower, saved Somerset, saved reality itself. It's good Sunday afternoon Even as well. I could not have done better. Ooh. That's high praise. For now, they I are must great attend games, to yeah. other matters. Yeah. They are definitely great we games. We still have work to do. I'm afraid we still have work to do. While the Crystal Tower is protected against Daedra, any mortal can now walk right through its gates. We must convince the Sabiarchs to gather allies in order to defend the Crystal-like law. How can we convince the Sapiarchs to accept help? It will take an influence far stronger than you and I. Of that, I'm sure. We'll call a meeting of Somerset's most influential leaders. Perhaps with such a force behind us, we can persuade the Sapiarchs to see reason. And if they don't agree? We've already seen the devastation that's possible when the tower falls into the wrong hands. Mm. And the recent attack by Nocturnal only reinforces the need for greater protection. I want you there to help plead our case. Will you join us? I will help convince the Sapiarchs. Go and tell Oriandra of my plan. She'll know which parties to contact. I'd also like to ask Sotha Seal to join us. His support would be extremely helpful to our cause. How are you holding up? Honestly, I haven't yet had a moment to process all that happened. There's still oh. so much to be done, and perhaps that's for the best. The time to grieve can wait. For now, we must ensure the welfare of Somerset. Okay. Right, this is the wrapping up quest for the Somerset main storyline. Once we've done this, we've got to do a Sigic Order quest to open up the Sigic Order skill line and then we can jump into Southern Elsewhere. And that's the last set of main quests we need to do before Greymoor comes out. Although it won't be more than 20% of the game content. There's loads of side quests and other stuff we've got to go back and do. So let's just see, shall we? Season of the Dragon, I've done Northern Elsewhere. We've got... Let's see, Southern Elsewhere. Masterpieces, Uneasy Alliances. Uneasy Alliances, so we're on the third of the six main quests and then there's the three um, epilogue quests oh we might we might manage to do what we've got to do with at least the main quests for the story to uh, before Oh, Greymore hits. Then we have vampires in Skyrim. It's good to see you alive and well. Word has already spread about your daring exploits within the Crystal Tower. It's still a little hard to believe, truth be told. Of course, there's so much left to do. I already have a list as long as my arm. Dalsarin needs you to summon a council of influential Somerset citizens. That doesn't sound good. Is there another crisis I have yet to be informed about? Crystal Tower's walls have weakened. We must convince the Sapiarchs to gather allies. I'd almost rather deal with another crisis than try to convince the Sapiarchs. Still, it will be done. I'll even make sure to invite the Proxy Queen. Her palace should make for a suitable meeting place. Neutral ground and all that. Cool. And where can I find Sophocil? Alcyrian wants him to join the council as Sotha well. Sotheseal's in his study, preparing to depart. He never seems to stick around for very long. I suggest you hurry if you want to catch him. 
I'll meet you in front of the Proxy Queen's palace in Alinor. Meet me there after you talk to Sothaseel. Okay. Here you are again. I thought such an outcome likely. The time has come for my departure. I've always felt a sense of peace in our tale, but also discomfort. A consistent dilemma within me, which seems to have only grown. I'll be glad to get back to the Clockwork City. There's much to do. Much to do? While you confronted Nocturnal, I worked within the shadow of your efforts. Negotiations with both Clavicus Vile and Mafala were held, and a compromise was decided upon. The two have agreed to a compact, an end to their direct meddling. So does that mean they won't make trouble for us anymore? Knowing the nature of Daedra, I doubt that shall be the case. However, any direct interference within Nern should cease, while the terms are met, of course. As for Nocturnal, it seems she's returned to the shadows. You think she'll strike again? Perhaps. She likely contemplates her next course of action even now, given such a defeat. It may be centuries before she makes another attempt. Then again, could be days. Such is the chaotic nature of the Daedra Princes. Before you go, Valserine wants you to join a council she's putting together. I must decline. Valserin may see me as an ally, but to Somerset, I am a foreign interloper. An enemy of the state. My participation would not be welcome. The need for my presence has come to an end, and so I must depart. Thank you for all your help. And so the gears turn once more, ever changing, yet ever the same. With you always in the center, it seems. I take no pleasure in such distractions from my work. Still, I would not dislike it if we spoke again. Farewell. Farewell. Very cool. For those who don't know, Sofa Seal is a living god, so always very polite around Sofa Seal. Um. It would not be good to annoy him. Where we gotta go to? So that. That would be where we wanna recall to. Very nice palace. As I have said, the <gasps> proxy queen is, is unable to make a How can we negotiate peace if stupid high elves won't talk to him? Must be something important going on to bring them out of hiding. Finally, you arrived. We were able to gather everyone together, but they've already started the meeting. 
Valserin tried to make them wait, but the Sapiarchs demanded to know what was happening. How's the meeting going so far? To be honest, not great. Even the Proxy Queen is hesitant to accept our request. As always, everyone's so worried about proper High Elf decorum that they refuse to see reason. I'm just not sure how we're going to win this one. I'll go inside, crack some heads, see how we can help. Down High Elves. I mean, I serve the High Elf Queen, but still, she's an exception. Everyone's gathered in the council chamber. You should go inside. This is going to be fun. You can't make such demands. The Sapiarchs are the keepers of the Crystal Tower. This is about more than the College of Sapiarchs, Lana Teal. If Raz could intervene, perhaps we should hear from our newly arrived friend. We concur with Razumdar. Let us hear what the adventurer has to say. The Sapiarchs recognize your bravery on our behalf in Lalandril and within the Crystal Tower, but there is nothing you can say that will alter our thinking on this matter. Without the wars that keep people out, you need a new way to protect the tower. So Valserin claims. If this is true, the College shall institute new measures to protect the tower. That is well within our capabilities. The Sigic Order is responsible for all that has happened. Why should I trust them now? Hmm. The Daedric Princes would have found a way regardless of the Right Master's action. Perhaps you're right, but the Sapiarchs did not cause these events. The Sigic Order did. My people died protecting the Crystal Tower. Why should I accept aid from the very Order that's responsible for their deaths? Sigic Order helped me stop the Daedric Princes. Without them, the tower would have Be fallen. Be that as it may, the Sapiarchs will continue to do as we always have. We shall protect the Crystal Tower. Entrusting that responsibility to anyone else is just far too dangerous a risk to take. The Sapiarchs can't protect the Crystal Tower alone. That's your opinion. You are a newcomer. I have no reason to believe that you have Somerset's best interests in mind. For all I know... You and the Sigic Order wish to use the Crystal Tower for your own purposes. I think you're making a mistake. Our friend has proven their mettle time and time again. Raz thinks you should hear about these deeds. Oriandra, admit our guests now, yes? What are you up to, Razumdar? I will vouch for this adventurer. While I was blinded by prejudice and hate, their actions saved Shimmerine. Sapiarch, you know me. My son rejected the Queen's decree and suffered the consequences. This newcomer saved Relenville. Finally, Raz must add his voice to the chorus. No one has served our Queen and our island as well as this adventurer, not even Raz. We have heard enough. We accept that the adventurer is trustworthy. Sapiarch Lana Teal, listen to what they have to say. I apologize for my <laughs> assumptions. It's clear you've done much good for Somerset and its people. The protection of the Crystal Tower has been the Sapiarch's duty for time immemorial. To change that now feels like we failed. We need to make sure the Crystal Tower is protected into the future, so we don't fail again. I can't deny the truth of your words. Very well. Henceforth, the Sapiarchs will accept outside aid in order to best protect the Crystal Tower. I'll begin preparations immediately. However, I still refuse to allow the Sigic Order to participate. As long as you have a plan for protecting the Crystal Tower. I promise we will work with the Proxy Queen to make sure the Crystal Tower remains safe. I'll begin preparations immediately. We'll even allow the Divine Prosecution and the Mage's Guild to participate in these efforts. Sounds like a good idea. Raz is sure there are many more details to work out, but for now, 
This one just wants a very strong drink. If you would <laughs> wait a moment, my friend. I'd like to talk privately. Thank you for helping me win this last battle. Oh, While the Sigic nice. Order will not be among those protecting the Crystal Tower, we will continue to observe from afar. And now, it's time for us to depart, Somerset. You're leaving, is that wise? We never meant to take such a direct role in events. We're observers, watchers. We lend a hand, guide fate, but never directly shape it. Besides, I need to return to Arteum and take up the mantle of Right Master. At least for a little while. The Conclave made you the right master. On an interim basis until we get beyond this crisis and can make a decision for the future. In the meantime, I want to atone for what the Right Master and Lathan did. I owe Somerset that much, at least. So that's it. You're attuned to Arteum and have a connection to the Sigic Order now. The portal will always be open for you. And you'll always be welcome on our hidden island. I'm glad to hear that, considering I've got property on the island. Thank you. Right. Raz, where are you? Razumdar, remove your furry seat from our throne. After all Raz has done for Queen and Country, you would <laughs> deny him this small comfort. Why Cousin Iren tolerates you, we'll never understand. Hmm. Raz could get used to such a seat. Metaphorically speaking, of course. <laughs> this one would prefer a throne with far more padding. But enough of such talk. Today we celebrate your victory. From newcomer to savior of Somerset. Quite defeat, yes? Did you bring all these people here? Raz thought of many different plans once he heard of this meeting. He is glad the first turned out so well. His other plans, well, <laughs> there is no need to dwell on such unsavory details. This one never doubted you could do it, Five Claw. Thanks, Raz. Actually, Raz may have doubted you a few times, or many times, but he apologizes for that. After all, you have now proven yourself most capable. And of course, no heroic deed is complete without a reward. A reward? Raz did indeed. On behalf of Queen Irene, this is for you. Ironic how Somerset was saved by one of the newcomers it so distrusts. This is a good lesson for the High Elves, yes. Maybe now they'll realize that change is not so bad after all. Oh. Enjoy yourself, my friend. Raz certainly plans to. Our throne, Razendar. We would have it back now. So tense, your majesty. Must be this uncomfortable throne. Perhaps Raz could suggest a most comfortable cushion upon which you could sit. Such a cushion is much too lumpy for our tastes, cat. We thank you for the aid you provided to our green and pleasant land. Newcomer, you have shown us that sometimes change is for the best. Raz has much to do after this. Reports to write, missives to send. Perhaps he will go visit his family once all is done. It has been far too long since he has seen them. But first, Raz shall drink some very expensive wine. <laughs> Actually, when you move on to elsewhere, northern elsewhere, Raz is indeed visiting his family. Right, um, I'm going to bring it to a close there. Thank you all very much for watching and thank you again Gina G Gaming for the rain. Much appreciated. Unfortunately, I do have to dash off. So I am not going to be doing a raid today. I'm going to have to just bring it to a close there. Um, I will be back on Wednesday at 7pm UK with Elite Dangerous. On Thursday 7pm UK, we will be doing more Elder Scrolls Online. And we will be doing the Sigic Side Order, uh, Sigic Order Skill Quest. And then going back to Southern Elsewhere. So I hope to see folks again. Please do take care of yourselves. And yeah, look out for yourself in these times and stay safe. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye and take care.